yes so when b decreases the flux inside the coil also decreases the decrease in flux lenz law always oppose so how to oppose the decrease by increasing the flux how to increase the flux it has to induce current such that the field should be in the same direction of the existing field that means if current is induced in clockwise direction then automatically magnetic field will be inside which will support the already existing magnetic field so the induced current direction will be clockwise let us take one more example here <coughs> here the magnetic field is outside the direction of magnetic field is outside perpendicular to the plane the same thing if let us suppose that b is increasing if b increases the flux inside the coil increases lenz law resists that it will assist only by inducing current in clockwise direction when current is produced in clockwise direction it will produce its own magnetic field into the plane which will oppose the already existing magnetic field so the direction of induced current will be clockwise current this way will produce now coming to the right hand side here b is decreasing when b is decreasing flux inside the coil is decreasing so it wants to support the same magnetic field by producing its own magnetic field outside it can be achieved only by inducing current in anti clockwise direction i induced so if current is in anti clockwise direction then it will produce its own field outward which will support the already existing magnetic field so that it can oppose the decrease in magnetic field so let us take one more example similar to give clear picture this is a conducting wire which is carrying a current i here the current is increasing when current increases around every current carrying conductor the magnetic field also will increase so what is the source of magnetic field here the current carrying conductor itself is the source of magnetic field so a very close to the conductor the field lines are stronger and into the plane as you slowly move towards right the magnetic field decreases and if you move farther decreases further and finally at infinite distance there is no flux in the coil so what will happen now as you move towards right the magnetic field decreases yes or no so here when current increases the flux inside the coil also increases when current in the conductor increases the flux inside the coil increases when flux increases lenz law resists it how do it do so how can i resist the current how can i resist the increase in magnetic flux by inducing current so as to oppose the field so if current is it has to produce the magnetic field dots that is in anti clockwise direction if cur induced current is in anti clockwise direction then it will produce its own dots which is outside which will oppose the increase in magnetic flux coming to the right hand side here current is decreasing so the magnetic field inside the coil also decreases lenz law naturally opposes it so decrease is to be opposed means it has to produce its own into so that means its own magnetic field into the plane it can be achieved only by inducing current in clockwise direction so when current is induced in clockwise direction like this then automatically what will happen it will produce the induced magnetic field into the plane which can support the already existing magnetic field okay let us take one more example here there is a coil in the first coil there is a battery connected here when the battery is closed current flows the current direction is like this according to right hand thumb rule the plane facing towards the secondary coil behaves as north pole the plane which faces the other side will be south so automatically around this magnetic field will be produced <coughs> that magnetic field will change the magnetic field around the secondary coil and automatically the flux around the secondary coil or second coil is changing <coughs> lenz law oppose the change in magnetic flux how can we do so how can we oppose a change in flux by inducing current in the opposite direction that means by inducing current in a direction so that 
you can oppose the already existing magnetic field so it has to produce the magnetic lines in this direction how can we do it so by inducing current in this direction shown clearly here check it out so when the current flows this way here current flows down so that the magnetic field will be opposing the already existing magnetic field <coughs> so finding the direction of induced current is one of the very important aspects similar example here if you see this the first coil is a closed coil the battery the moment you close the key current is produced in it the direction of induced current will always be see here when current is produced automatically current will flow this way so this side behaves as a north pole the other side behaves as south pole so it will send its own magnetic lines right around every current carrying conductor magnetic field will be there that magnetic flux will try to change the magnetic flux of the secondary coil the second coil so the flux around the secondary coil is changing therefore lenz law won't mind the flux but here there is a change in flux lenz law will try to oppose the change in flux so induced current will be such that thumb should point in this direction the magnetic field should be in this direction that means current will be induced the way it is shown here clearly okay now one very important and interesting example here is current is constant you are moving the coil towards right when you move the coil towards right the flux inside the coil is decreasing why as you move away from the current carrying conductor as the distance increases magnetic field decreases so you are moving from a region of magnet maximum flux to minimum flux therefore flux decreases therefore when flux is decreasing it will oppose the decrease in flux so it has to increase in flux so magnetic flux lines are into so it has to support the same field so it will produce its own intos by inducing current in clockwise direction when current is induced in clockwise direction the decrease in flux can be opposed it is in accordance with law of conservation of energy if the same coil is moved in in this direction there won't be any change in flux there won't be any induced current when you move it along x axis then only there will be change in flux okay so here here also the same thing if the coil is moved this side the same story here if you move it down or up no induced current there will be induced current that to in the clockwise direction only if you move it towards right and last but not the least very interesting example there is a u shaped metal frame on which a conducting rod of length l is kept the whole apparatus is kept in a magnetic field which is acting into the plane when the rod is moved towards right the area enclosed by the magnetic field is increasing therefore flux inside this closed portion is increasing so initially this is the flux when you move it towards right the flux region increases it is moving towards right therefore now the enclosed area increases flux increases when flux increases lenz law always resists the change in flux in order to oppose the change in flux it has to create the induced current so that it will produce its own dots the field in the opposite direction how can it be achieved by inducing current in anti clockwise direction so in the loop current will flow in anti clockwise direction so that the induced magnetic field will be outward which can oppose the already existing magnetic field so the increase in flux can be opposed thank you let us meet again